Welcome to our informative video series. Children's health is the purpose of today's video. We are going to explore the causes of fever in children. I know we have all once felt feverish, either as a child or as an adult, but before proceeding any further, I will like us to look at how medical professional defines fever. What is fever? A fever is defined by most healthcare providers as a higher than normal body temperature. It is a sign of your body's natural fight against infection. Fever is when your temperature is higher than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Sounds absolutely right to me. Anyway, let's move on. In several ways, our body maintains normal body temperature. The organs involved in helping with temperature regulation includes the brain, skin, muscle, and blood vessels. The body responds to changes in temperature by increasing or decreasing sweat production, moving blood away from or closer to the surface of the skin, getting rid of water, or holding on to water in the body, and seeking a cooler or warmer environment. When a child has a fever the body works same way to control the temperature. But, under normal circumstances, the child's body temporarily reset its thermostat at a higher temperature. A child's body temperature can increase for a number of reasons. Here are most known reasons that increases a child's body temperature. 1. Important chemicals, called cytokines and mediators. These chemicals are made in the body, in response to invasion from, microorganism, malignancy, or other intruder. 2. The body is always making macrophages. These are cells which help combat intruders in the body. These cells actually eat up the invading organism. 3. The body is busy trying to make natural antibodies to fight infections. Once successful, these antibodies can recognize the infection next time it tries to invade. 4. Many bacteria are enclosed in an overcoat-like membrane. When this membrane is disrupted or broken, the contents that escape can be toxic to the body. These mentioned factors stimulate the brain to raise the body temperature. But, there is always a good side of a bad situation, yes, fever is somehow beneficial. What are the benefits of fever? It's important to understand that fever is not an illness. It is a symptom, or a sign, that your body is fighting an illness or infection. Fever stimulates the body's defenses, sending white blood cells and other fighter cells to fight and destroy the cause of the infection. Here are symptoms to expect when a child has a fever. 1. Children with fever may become more uncomfortable, as the temperature rises above normal body temperature greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, in bracket 38 degrees centigrade. 2. The child may not be as active or talkative as usual. 3. The child may seem fussier, less hungry, and thirstier. 4. The child may feel warm or hot. Remember that even if your child feels like he or she is burning up, the measured temperature may not be that high. The symptoms of a fever may look like other health conditions. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, if your child is younger than 3 months of age, and has a temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, in bracket 38 degrees centigrade, or higher, you should call your child's healthcare provider right away. If you are unsure, always check with your child's healthcare provider for a diagnosis. Here's what to do to decrease a child's fever. Give your child an anti-fever medicine, such as, acetaminophen, or ibuprofen. Don't give your child aspirin. It has been linked to a serious, potentially fatal disease called Ray syndrome. Other ways to reduce fever include, dressing your child lightly, because excess clothing traps body heat, and will cause the temperature to rise. Encourage your child to drink plenty of fluids, such as water, juices, or popsicles. Give your child a lukewarm bath. Do not allow your child to shiver from cold water. It can raise the body temperature. Never leave your child unattended in the bathtub. Please do not use alcohol baths. When should a fever be treated? In children, a fever that is making them uncomfortable should be treated immediately. Treating your child's fever will not help the body get rid of the infection any faster though. It simply will relieve discomfort linked to the fever. Children between the ages of 6 months and 5 years can develop seizures from fever, called febrile seizures. If your child does have a febrile seizure, there is a chance that the seizure may occur again. But usually children outgrow the febrile seizures. A febrile seizure does not mean your child has epilepsy. There is no evidence that treating the fever will reduce the risk of having a febrile seizure. As parents, it is our obligation to ensure our children are in good state of health. Please, don't give any unprescribed medication to a child, unless otherwise advised by a healthcare provider. 
We highly advise you consult a health expert if your child is 3 months old or younger and has a fever of up to 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees centigrade, or higher. If your child has repeated fevers above 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees centigrade. If your child is younger than 2 years of age and has a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees centigrade, that lasts for more than one day, if your child is 2 years or older and has a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, 38 degrees centigrade, that lasts for more than 3 days. Or if your baby is fussy or cries more often and can't be soothed. Get medical care right away. Fever in a young baby can be a sign of a dangerous infection. Seeking proper medical or health professionals advice is the key to healthy living. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.